Dance no demtik. You know, I bring you greetings from the Treaty 6 territory that we're all situated in right now. Uh, you know, I am uh, Chief of Samson Cree Nation, which is just kind of down the road here and uh, part of Muscogee's. Um, you know, I come here today with different thoughts. You know, at, at this moment, at one o'clock, a little bit earlier, you know, there's, they're going to have one of the largest powwows in Western Canada, probably all of Canada, going on in Edmonton right now. Grand entries at one o'clock. And if you're a Treaty 6 chief, that's kind of where you want to be. You want to be seen and part of the grand entry. But I chose to come here. You know, um, in my personal life, and I think it's like this for most people, you know, number one in my life is God, the Creator. You know, He, he guides us all in, in our directions in life. And number two, a very strong two, is being a, a, the best husband I can be and the best father I can be. And number three in my life is being Chief of Sam's Cree Nation. You know, I have a priority system in my life. And when I got the invite to go to the powwow, to be part of Grand Entry, and I got the invite to come to the Grand, you know, Grand, uh, the building opening here from, from Mamo at Tuskitan Native School, you know, the dad in me said, I'm going to come here, okay? Um, and it's really simple. <laughs> my son came to school here. My son stayed here until grade nine, you know. Uh, it's kind of funny, I'm sitting here beside Gail. I didn't know it was Seventh-day Adventist. I, I knew it was Christian. I didn't know which Christian it was, right? Uh, uh, but, I, but I never judged. It was good for my son, okay? It was good for my son. And if there are any kind of parting words I want to leave, is I want you all to know that what you do, especially for the, for the children of Musquatchies, is that you do make a difference. You made a difference in my son's life. My son is 22 years old. He is not financially successful by any means, but he's successful in every other way that's important to a parent. He believes in God, okay? He's got a strong relationship. He's making a difference in what he does, what he's chosen to do in his life. And I can't be prouder. And when my son came here as a single parent, and this school helped him become the man that he is today. And that's why I'm here today. Yeah. So, so I speak from a parent, and I come here to come give my love and my support for this wonderful place. I want to thank people like Larry, you know. I'm hearing stories that this place doesn't exist without people like you. All the people who contributed money to this beautiful building, when I asked how much it cost, I, oh my goodness, that's amazing, four and a half million for a beautiful building. Uh, you know, and I want to just thank all of you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, you know, and then just now to put my war bonnet back on and say, you know, I bring the full authority of the Samson Cree Nation uh, Council and for, the, for our territories. And I say, I want to just thank you all from the bottom of heart for the people of Muscogee's. Except you know, thank you very much. We are here with Joshua Saddleback, who is the son of Chief Vernon Saddleback from Samson Cree Nation. Welcome. Uh, hello. <laughs> nice to be here in uh, Tacoma here at uh, Brown University. What was your experience like uh, going going through MANS at the time? Well, it was really good. You know, when at the time when I was going there, it was a very small school. Uh, I, I think off the top of my head, I think they only had about, around 200 students, uh, or it might be less than. Uh, but they only went up to grade nine. I came in at grade five. And I stayed uh, up until grade nine. Did you did you feel that man's prepared you for the role that you're in, the job that you're in now? Yeah, um, with the role modeling off of the uh, teachers that were there when I was there. Um, you know, we, we had all kinds of students, you know, in Mamaway when I was there. And, you know, nonetheless, all the teachers that I've come across and that I've uh, you know, who are my own teachers, uh, they all show the same patience, the same respect for, for all the students, no matter the circumstance. And I've been able to apply the same in my own workspace with all the kids that come into our care, so. And now your daughter attends the school. Did you ever think that Miss Wilton, being a grade six teacher, would now be a principal of, of your daughter? Yeah, no, I, I uh, <laughs> did not. Uh, I did not see that coming. Actually, even when I started to uh, have my daughter in line to come to the school, I didn't realize just how many teachers were still there. That were there when, when I was that one. So I, You're like, I, wow, you're still here? <laughs> yeah, so uh, it, it's just a more comfort, 
feeling that I know, mm. you know, cause I had a really good experience with not just Miss Wilson, but all the teachers that were there when I was there. And so I know sending my daughter there, it's mm. just a more comforting feeling knowing that she's going to get the same experience that I got, which was nothing but genuine care. Right. So, right. Um, I'm happy that she's going to Mamma Way and, and I know she's going to, she's going to enjoy it. And she already is like she, and not only that, but she's her, when we were, when COVID first came and we had to switch to online schooling and we were in Edmonton at the time, you know, uh, we were, it, it was a hard, it was a hard transition for her to go in class to online and, you know, the expectations that they had for our students and, and to have the parents involved with the, with the online learning, you know, it, it was a struggle. Yeah. And, uh, you know, coming to Mamaway, it's funny because I remember, uh, you know, we're, we're doing simple math, we're working on our numbers, we're doing the ABCs. And I, I remember right before we came to Mamaway, uh, you know, me and my daughter were, were struggling to, to <laughs> not only learn the ABCs, but counting one, two, three. And since just the few months that she's been in Mamaway, you know, now she's reading, she's she oh, loves wow. math, doing this basic math skills. And it's funny just how quick that transition, wow. how, how it's, how it's come just from since she's been at Mamma Way, so. That's awesome. Yeah, so I, I love that she's going there and I love that all the teachers that were there when I was there, or most of them uh, are still there. Mm. So I know I know Kai's gonna get the, the same quality of care that I got when I was there, so. Hey, Pastor Solo here at Mamoy. Uh, here is an overview of the week of courage that we just had at, at Mamoy. Uh, we basically looked at the story of Moses. And day number one, we talked about the midwives on how they showed courage because they trusted in God. Day number two, we met Miriam and her mom and how they showed courage by taking care of uh, baby Moses. In day number three, uh, Moses slays the Egyptian. And that taught us that, yes, we all have some kind of courage that God has given us. But sometimes we do misuse uh, that courage that God has given us. Day number four, uh, instead of now Moses embracing the courage that God has given him to be able to redeem the children of Israel, Moses comes up with excuses. But you know what? God has excuses covered too, so stay courageous. What did you like about the week of courage? I said everyone got prizes, the treats and the stories. What did you like about the week of courage? Mmm, print. I like the bag of courage. I like this one. When he plays the games. I like when he dances. The songs. I like playing the games. Uh, I really like the prizes and uh, volunteers and everything. Awesome. Even the games. Thank you. I really like the stories and the games. Awesome. Were, I like uh, hearing the stories. Good job. We are courage. Wait to be with everybody. Okay. Good job. Courage. He was relaxed. He relaxed. Good job. We are We Hello guys, today we are so privileged to have uh, Mrs. Sandra Emmonskin join us with the, uh, here at Inspire Mama Way Leadership Program. Um, Ms. Sandra Emmonskin, what are you going to be sharing with our students today? Um, well, I've taken a lot of um, courses in business and uh, however, the topic is going to be forgiveness. Um, on how, about team building, and yes. uh, I also pastor a church, a church so it, I know the, the the value of forgiveness to have us uh, um, 
a good team, mm -hmm. um, a successful team. Yeah. So this is what I'm going to be sharing this uh, today. Awesome. Thank you so much.